we are about to enter a political period that will have consequences for the rest of our lives. We cannot give up. We now find ourselves in a time in history that has precedent and we find ourselves, I believe, in a time where there are, let's say, peers in history of mass movements of people that mobilize to protect one another in times of fascism uh, and authoritarianism. And this is the era that we are poised to enter. I mentioned before the celebrities, of course, who got behind Kamala Harris. Well, they're all losing the plot now. Can you believe it? The woman we backed, we thought that we as celebrities would be able to tell everyone what to do and they would just fall into line. Well, of course, that is not what happened. And in particular, it seems to be rappers who are having a bit of a meltdown. One of them was Cardi B. Now, Cardi B came out on stage at a rally just last week, uh, gave a, a speech endorsing Kamala Harris, which was quite funny actually, because she was meant to read it off of a teleprompter, and then the teleprompter broke down, and yeah. she stood there not knowing what to say. So someone had to take up a mobile phone so that she could read the speech, because, you know, that's an authentic endorsement, isn't it? But knowing now that Donald Trump has taken what she thought should happen, well, she's responding um, calmly. 
This is history, Cardi. When you, I, can you? I swear to, I swear to God, my academics. I'm like, I'm sick of you. I'm sick. Of, get away! Get away from me! I'm gonna burn your hats. Oh. Is it any wonder that people uh, didn't take the word of this woman? <laughs> For who they should vote for, and another rapper, Azalea Banks, who, who likes to stir up a bit of controversy online. She's a pretty good troll, but she had endorsed Kamala Harris, had said on X that she was going to vote for Kamala Harris. Well, she's now said, sorry, gotcha. She's posted a photo on X of her ballot paper showing that she did, in fact, actually vote for Donald Trump. Trump. How good is that? I mean, she, like a lot of the country, I think, uh, woke up. You can see it there. She's filled in Trump, just posted it, said, sorry, I lied. She woke up and went, no, 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 I got this wrong. I don't think she was the only one. It's the first time I realised that a rapper like Azalea Banks has so much in common with Jill Biden <laughs> and yeah, Joe Biden. Cool. I think they did the same thing. Well, I'm pretty sure that they did vote for Trump. But this has got to be the death of celebrity endorsements. I have never seen more celebrities, the most famous names you yeah, can yeah. possibly mention, from Taylor Swift to Beyonce. We're talking about the most famous people in Hollywood, in the superstar dome, anywhere in the world, endorsed Kamala Harris. And it has fallen so flat. We've all seen the very comprehensive win. It, it's got to be the end of it. Mm. It's It's got to be the end of it. People aren't listening to you. They can see what's fake. It doesn't matter how many millionaires, even billionaires, all these people are rolling in dough and they're talking to Americans that are hard up. I can't count the amount of videos I've watched of everyday Americans crying, saying, my husband's never worked harder and we can't make ends meet because of inflation, because of interest rates. We are not coping. I can't buy the kids presents. I'm putting socks back at Walmart. And they roll out these millionaires who haven't lived an everyday person's life for years and years, at least for as long as they've been famous, to preach to the everyday American as to how they should vote. It's disgusting. It should end. And I hope this will be Further proof, like we needed it, we already know, but proof on the world stage, this does not work. It, it was one of the mistakes of many mistakes that the Harris campaign made, because I, I agree with you, this should be the death of celebrity endorsements, but I wonder if that's already happened back in 2020 with COVID. Do you remember celebrities Well, clearly came it out didn't, because all these guys things. all came out. Yeah, but, but the, it didn't help them, clearly. And the Harris campaign really leaned into this thing. I mean, they went ballistic with celebrity endorsements. Well, they had nothing else to go on. Her social media headings to reflect some of the endorsements. And all the studies say that endorsements will maybe prompt people's interest in an issue, but ultimately they vote based on their family and their friends As and their should. own personal research. Taylor Swift is a classic example. They did a survey of voters who um, nominated, who'd seen Taylor Swift's endorsement of Harris, only 8% of people said they were more likely to vote for Kamala Harris because of Taylor Swift's endorsement. But amazingly, 20% of people said they were less likely mm. to vote for mm. Harris. The other thought that I've had regarding this is I wonder if celebrities endorse people like Kamala Harris to help Kamala Harris, or do they do it to help themselves because they're somehow hitching their wagon to the progressive cause. They think it's going to enhance their popularity with a certain demographic. I don't know. Well, well, the certain demographic it probably enhances their popularity with is the people in their They're industry. They're preaching to the choir, right? right? Yeah. And, mm. and, and that's where they make their money from within the industry. If you appeal to those people, you're probably better off. But I think uh, the thing about Trump, of course, is that he is the ultimate celebrity politician. He was a celebrity before he was a politician. He doesn't need star power around him to try and sell himself because he is star power. Yes. He can galvanise people around him because he is a personality. Whereas someone like Harris thinks, OK, I don't have the personality, so I'm going to try and get the personality around Around me. It doesn't work. Clearly, it doesn't work. And I think this is a real cultural moment, not only for the United States, 
but hopefully the rest of the world, because it's a signal not only that that star power, if it's not the actual candidate, doesn't work, but it is the American people standing up once again against the system mm. in the face of like 2016. It, he was Trump was the man of the hour. People were ready for something that it was you know anti the system. Yeah, right? after eight and, years of and, Obama, and the, the second time around after he's been demonised so much, they still came back and gave him the presidency, right? Mm. I think it's people standing up and saying, we're not going to be cowed into silence. We're not going to get on board with the PC stuff. We're not going to be told what to say and think.